Oh, good morning. I've been asked to do another video for a while, so reason why I've been very quiet on doing videos, I've been busy. And everybody can understand personal life. Do want to give recognition to all the small organizations that I love, especially West Philly Produce. I love the Ray of Hole Project. And, you know, there is Miss Tracy Gordon, who is phenomenal as a leader in her community. And, oh my goodness, the state legislator, Miss Joanna Clinton, oh, she's dynamite. Please follow up on these people. These people are breaking their behinds ungodly, day in and out, to do what they can for the people of their community. Great ideas, great people, and have accomplished many things. And I hope we can all collaborate together and bring these things forth. And I still watch you guys, no matter if my personal affairs are keeping me from producing more community work but when personal affairs are settled I am more able to produce more work and I'll be at the forefront with you guys because I miss you guys so much everything that's going on around that um, people are asking me for certain opinions on because everything we speak is speaking of our own perspective. As perspective is an opinion. Now, I can bring factual information to help enlighten another individual on why my perspective is, is or how to have someone else understand someone else's perspective by also using the same truth. But other than that, and that's what all anybody can ever give each other is an opinion. When it comes from something that doesn't base on anything that can be disproved. Alright? If it's something within yourself, if that makes sense. I'm a little bit ugh, just getting my coffee in me, so bear with me. But good morning to you guys. And before I go on things that are only the noted trendy events... I want to give my heart out to the Caribbean. I want to give my heart out to definitely all of the Southerners because this year they're the ones who are experiencing the turmoil of the events. Every year it's going to be new events or so. We can't forget that Japan just had also a major earthquake. There are natural disasters all over so my heart and my mind and my spirit are in frequency in the love that hopefully a lot of people are doing better than is could be expected in these situations so let's make sure that we remember that during this time that there is another reality outside of our own and there are people who are losing their lives losing their resources and homes and have to migrate now and that is the one thing I would like to bring up because in all of this, all of everybody's speaking back and forth, a lot of controversy is going on because of people needing to migrate. And it's a historical fact that during times of turmoil where either some people are running from a situation where they have been capitalized from and they have to move, or the situation where they're at, is no longer habitable these people have to go somewhere now if your attentions when you go into someone else's land is to forget that you're in someone else's land is the situation that people are fearful of on the other side people are fearful of people's intentions when someone's migrating because it's like someone entering your home and you open your door and you don't know what they're capable of doing within your home and your home is your sanctuary the confusing factor i'm not understanding is when i do get to speak to individuals that concerns are about current people having to migrate inside the country of the united states of america 
because America is actually two continents. Stop forgetting that. America is two continents. And before America was two continents, it was an indigenous country of a melting pot, which had people from all over the world coming over here. And there were tribes from all over the world that were already over here before this Columbus thing. But the one thing that I do find is when I inquire upon these people to understand when I ask about their history, it's either they have a limited idea of where they came from and how they got here, or they refuse to identify with how they became in their place in the first place. So. History does speak of a migration that happened around the 1400s. Now, there is a book called The Atlas of the Jewish Pe um, of the Jewish People that I got to look at that also states that there was an exile of a lot of people during 1492. Now, before 1492, even Eric the Red, that's why I'm confused about the history that is given stating there was a discovery that never happened when you even had Europeans that were also over the Western Hemisphere of the world utilizing it. But for some reason, 1492 is where a lot of history seems to start. But there were people who were exiled and sent to broad across the Atlantic once they found the current that was led by the Africans already they used that when they were trading from South America through the Caribbean because the Caribbean was the ports and they show this gentleman who they call Columbus this route this is an old route he couldn't go underneath Africa he couldn't go to a lot of places those trade routes were already capitalized and to go across lands into other countries to go and to get your resources was taking a risk you could not travel along certain borders back then to get what you need but Spain and a couple other places wanted to utilize the stuff from Asia and wanted to find out more about where these trade routes and where things were going because they were way back limited on what they were access to. The world was already claimed. Okay? Now, during this time in Europe, they were killing and mutilating and the horrific affairs that they did to the people of different tribes that were considered of Caucasian races that we're calling now. The Irish and other ones can definitely still hold on and tell you that during the time of European rule, there were always times that their own indigenous practices were conflicted with, that they were always made into a unit that will be assimilated. They fought hard against this. Now, this is why they came to America in the first place, because of the rule in European countries were coming against their tribal roots. Their religion was being assimilated. Their practices were being washed and erased. Their history was being taken from them. They were forced into languages that were not their own. Sounds very familiar, huh? Now, the thing is, is when people seem to cross the border over into this Western Hemisphere, there is an amnesia that goes on. They start to generation after generation forget that that happened. They forget that they were once below species to the hierarchy that ruled above them. The hierarchy they had to run from. And when they came over, the illusion was they were open to a land that was not habited by a civilization. 
by giving them the idea that they were open to take the land because the people were so-called uncivilized. They had government, they had traditions, they had rule, they had trade, they had market, business, worldwide. But for some reason, with all the architectural structures they had, all the sciences they had, all the medicines they had, they were deemed as uncivilized. The stuff that a lot of people are using and practicing and learning about now came from these uncivilized people. And these uncivilized people did not come in just one color. Because what do you expect of the original Native American is always depicted as the Tonto looking individual. Tonto was Italian. Get that. When you look historically at images of these people, there is not one image that says their facial and body structures is like other tribes. There are a ton of tribes just in the North American part that we call the United States alone, not to mention Canada, Mexico, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean, which were all in one unit broken down by each individual confederacy and area that they had their own government. So when you go into southern regions, go around Florida, into the Caribbean, around Mexico, around Louisiana, go into even parts of Texas and places like that. You see Africano traits in the indigenous people. Wonder why Columbus went to freaking the Caribbean and saw a black a bunch of black people and was like, yo, I think we hit India. He thought he saw the people of Indigo. When you go closer to the edge of the Pacific, all the way over there, you look at those people and then you find out that they had relics and everything for so long that came from the Orient. And you see the traits and everything that relates to them saying that people of Asia came over from the Pacific and were here. Then you go into the northern region and see the people of Europe from the time of the Viking regions. Have mixed. So one thing is all this was an occupied land of mixed people who've already settled and already knew what the hell was going on. The people who were exiled came over here and needed refuge. But by the idealization that they were disconnected from anything that was going to be over here, now their idea is, I get to have what I have no matter the cost. Because having these costs is not actually a casualty because the people I'm coming against are not considered civilized. I don't know what kind of barbaric mind had to be enforced into this way of thinking, but it is. It's a barbaric way of mind because you're doing exactly what people did to you when you were in Europe. So you think it's okay to do it over here because they gave you a bunch of guns to do so. wonder how that, you know, that's always been the tradition. Give these people some weapons, have them kill the others, wean them out. They'll do the job and get rid of them. Get them to the West. All that controversy comes into not even understanding the ways and traditions that happen because guess what I'm not understanding why y'all keep on forgetting the injustices that happen even on this own soil it'd be nice for some of the history that evolves in your school to not glorify people who murdered and raped and pillaged and everything but actually talked about the factual truth and put them in their place because they're only talking about this today getting rid 
of images that glorify people with horrendous intents. But they're not teaching the horrendous intents. Look up the Ludlow Massacre. Be a great one to look at. Because not too old, not too young, but it shows you exactly that you were never special either. You are just used to make your image thought as though I'm entitled to something because I came over here, took it, and now I'm keeping it, what you call work for it, but it was taken from somebody else. It was taken to the point that it was annihilation of other people's. But the Ludlow Massacre is lovely because it showed how much you were, that they kind of remind you and put you in your place. That no matter how much hard work you do, how much you think you can capitalize while you're here upon this land, you know, round you up and shoot you in a circle like they did us and wounded Nate. The military was legally able to shoot off the workers, including women and children. Get that. Just not to pay them. Please look up the Ludlow Massacre. Ludlow, Colorado. Look up your history. That way, when you start inquiring on the people that have been taken either from their land to lose their history to touch, been beaten to not speak the way they're taught and you know try being told you're not allowed to speak your language and then beating that out of you try being told that your god is a, your god's your practices are all demonic and you must be forced into someone else's ways okay no that happened over in europe so you should be able to relate you forgot about it none of y'all were catholics and christians before they forced it on you those were religions forced upon people. It was not a willing religion. It was to the point they sat in council and discussed how were they going to change certain aspects of your beliefs to see how they can make your beliefs something they can use to control the way you move, the way you think. The way you're going to rise up and see yourself. And who do you see as high? So you forgot you weren't Catholics. Or do you forget about the Catholic Crusades that were killing you off? You forget you weren't Christians. You weren't none of this. You practiced pagan. You were in touch with earth. You built your own. You knew science, astrological studies. You knew chemistry and physics just by knowing about the stars and the heavens and the earth all in one. And then somebody beat the Catholicism in you. Then you come over here and forget that everything, even down to the language, because not all y'all spoke English. But now you come to America and say, speak American? That was in your freaking language when you were over there. You were assimilated. Then come over here and wonder why people don't want to be assimilated. Please really understand where you come from before you get at people that don't want to be like you. I had to learn my history by going and traveling around and trying to find somebody like me, which I was finding out it was not many because of the people that I come from were killed off. To find out my history, there were people who took relics from my people and hid them and kept them and sold them off. To want to even learn my language, I have to go far out in the U.S. to find someone that speaks it fluently. Because they had a thing called kill the Indian, save the man. Meaning 
Everything about us was supposed to be killed off. My father was beaten in Catholic school when he spoke his native tongue. But then they want to know why we don't have a connection with our history. Because they forgot that was how they got it beat out of them too. Because a lot of people of ethnic and indigenous backgrounds do not understand these people. And I'm trying to teach you how to understand. They forgot. They forgot they were one of you. They came over here and created this thing called the white race. Because it didn't exist before they created it. There's no such thing as the white race. There's only people who are indigenous or not. That's it. People who live off of the practices that connects everything. And people who don't. That's it. There are people who want to understand why. I say there is no white race and I tell people who you know will be considered white people and my friends you're not white when you tell me you're Irish you were called a Mick and all types of degrading things when you came from first in Europe they didn't consider you even part of human they consider you less than human then when you came over here they did the same thing same thing with the Italians. Same thing. Mediterranean races. Spaniards might have conquered the South, but they couldn't stand the Spaniards. That's why it wasn't hard for them to try to annex and push Mexico South. French weren't considered white. Everybody warred with each other over here. Trying to take territories because there was no such thing as the white race. When did this white race start? When it was easier to say that person is darker than you by using your visual cortex, your first line of what your perception is, is your visual cortex. So what happens is using your sight is your judgment from prehense. To feed upon that would be to see the comparison contracts, contradictions. That person don't look like you. Something wrong with that. You look more like this person than that person. And that's the confusion. Because you came from the genetics of that dark person. For some reason, you're looking at that dark person, but like that dark person's different than you. You used to practice with that dark person's whole history practice. And your people were educated with these people. But now you came over here and looked at them like they're different. No, they just made you want to think you were special. You're not. Any day now, they're going to prove this to you. Really prove this to you. First of all, they don't need all you. Just proof. You're expendable. The proof is the way they poison you, they miseducate you, and they put you against each other. You're expendable. You're a reality show to them. They can care less. They live in a whole nother reality. Your reality, they don't sit upon. One day you're going to understand what I mean about they. Because you're thinking you're a part of they. No, you're a part of everyone else. There's only hierarchy and everyone else. Hierarchy is because we've allowed ourselves to be what's called ruled. We've allowed ourselves to delegate others to make our decisions, to point out our morals, to uphold things so we don't have to think about it, right? To live our everyday lives so we don't have to base our reality in what it is that a lot of other people have to experience. So we have this hierarchy, everybody else. And that is in every freaking color. Every color, kind of person. It is this. Don't matter. So go ahead and keep on using race as the re re reason why you can't see fit. Because 
you get these people sitting out here talking about why is there a problem with a young man taking a knee to speak about the, the craziness that's going on because y'all y'all got this racist thing going on taking a knee and i never saw in the constitution where it says the first amendment is only for when appropriate because y'all sure enough when y'all were warring and taking things and speaking your minds and doing everything against your own unit of Europe, wasn't none of that occurring. It was not about being appropriate when you were trying to gain your freedom from Europe, when you were trying to gain your freedom from Britain. It wasn't none of that about being appropriate. You spoke your mind when you had to. You protested when you had to. You freaking did everything that everybody else is doing so stop complaining your history talks about a bunch of tax evaders who had all just it's called treason everything they did the history of your forefathers is about treason and tax evasion and trying to avoid their own leaders so when you go forth and talk about this is ain't patriotic, oh no, it's completely patriotic. You're doing the same thing. Your forefathers did. Your so-called forefathers, because half of you don't even come from the forefathers. A lot of y'all are immigrants that came way later. Okay, number one. Because I know I used to get in trouble for not pledging allegiance. You're pledging allegiance to a flag. Pledging allegiance to a piece of material. And then forcing other people to pledge allegiance to a piece of material that stripes represents the blood of their people. The best of their people that created us without even the government rights to what they built and died. And you want somebody to pledge allegiance because you were forced to, because that's what you were told was right. Because you weren't told that you actually had a decision. You were told this is called patriotic. Killing me with this patriotic thing because you got to remember what this country was built on. So don't discuss patriotic unless you're saying killing, raping, and annihilating people and pushing borders that never existed when we should have built a wall against these people that think like this. Please don't talk about patriotic. People are mad because people are upset about statues of people who blatantly say things like, I'm going to get rid of all the darkies for you. Yes, the Rizzo statue. He goes into church and tell people, I'll get rid of all the darkies for you. He goes and tell his cops that if they're black and Hispanic, 90% of the time they're guilty. Just go handle that. He puts tanks on your street. Military tanks on your street. To come against black people who did not do anything violent to the situation. They were enlightened people who lived like your hippie people right now are trying to live. So people are mad because people just don't want to look at images of people who the only way this stuff was done, their rule was done, is they had to create segregation, prejudice, and war. And use the resources in a way that they see fit. Because your country is run like the Wild West anyway. Everybody's running way past their jurisdiction and nobody's challenging nobody's jurisdiction. So, I got a question for people that got a problem with all this. Say if we had somebody image that was a person that shot your kid, raped your daughter. 
standing on a podium, calling this person great, patting him on the back. Oh, you don't know what he done, though. I know he done that. You don't know what he done. Or have an image of somebody who goes around and instigates domestic civil war. Well, civil war is domestic. But in your cities, putting cops against your people. You you question these things. And I'm sitting here like, this is actually a discussion. And it's bad because we got so much natural disaster going on. Puerto Rico is completely annihilated. They had the point where you can walk from Bahama Beach to Bahama Beach. And no, you know, the ring of fire is fucking crazy. It's fucking solar flare. Your sun is bright white in September. But since we got all this idiotic drama going on because people forget who they are, they forgot their place to this hierarchy society and don't realize that they place this bullshit and keep on feeding into this bullshit. Is I'm trying to get because it's stupid. Because all I see is a bunch of people sitting here getting ready to wean them on south out. Wean them on south out. I see cops forgetting that they're considered for relation citizens, judges forgetting they're for relation citizens. Yeah, look up the Council of Foreign Relations. The stuff that y'all got going on right now, and you're not questioning it, you're committing treason. Committing treason. It's so fucking stupid. Y'all are abusing, is no less than abusing power because number one thing is even if the Supreme Court try to say y'all are supposed to uphold laws, up, laws are bought out. So if something is bought out, we're, I mean, are we supposed to just base that off the moral standard? Then there's a contradiction to that, which no one is pointing out. If you're taking an oath to an original document, and what crazy is y'all keep on amending the motherfucker. Shit, how many times do you got to amend something? I can see opening up clarification, but y'all basically start making these new laws and legislations that go completely against the original fucking document. Your oath is to that original document. So if there is a legislative law that is not held upon this, you're not running within your jurisdiction. 